wanted to give you a quick tutorial over ZenHub. I've never used it before. I've been in it up. I thought I'd share a few things to save you some time from learning it. Um, obviously, the ZenHub here is your tab right here. Um, these are called pipelines. Do not confuse these with milestones. They're just pipelines. They're a way we can view our, view our information. We actually assign the milestone inside of the task. Um, if you want to have more room to view these, because you can see they scroll quite a bit down, you can go here and say expand your pipeline and you can continue to expand it to give you a little bit more flexibility there. You can also search here for all your issues. Say you know rewards is in there somewhere and it'll bring up all the tasks that have rewards in it. Clear that. If you're trying to figure out what you have going on, you can click here. Click that and it'll filter to just your assignments. Come back in here and clear the filter like this. They also have uh, a web app right here if we click on that, it opens up here. It's really the same thing. It's just a little bit cleaner to, uh, to see. You can get a little bit more room to work if you prefer that. If we open up one of these tasks, we can open it here. We have the task or the user story here. And then they have a history of everything if you make comments. You may notice you may get an email if you're subscribed to this. And so um, leads, this is where you assign people. You click on here and you just check or uncheck right there you can add 10 people to a task and that's what the filter obviously works off of um, if you're assigned to this task you are probably going to get uh, an email to let you know it's changed uh, you can read that in your email if you prefer it to do it that way uh, when we assign a milestone this is where we assign the milestone I've entered all of our milestones all of our sprints right here um, this is where we'll actually assign it that the burn down chart is going to work from um, I'll be assigning the milestones just because you drag it into Sprint Zero does not mean it's assigned a milestone. So if you just drag it in there, it's not going to give us the burndown report that we need that is over here. Um, that's about it. Real quick overview. I wanted to show you one thing. If you like this board type of stuff, um, I use this app at work. There's a free version. I pay for it because I use some integrations. But if you like to keep track of your task, um, it's a really slick app. It's free. Um, you can create your own task here by just creating a new task or you can cl click right here to assign a new task. Uh, if you're a calendar person, you can view your calendar to see what's coming up. You can view a list if you like that. I actually prefer the boards um, and you simply drag it behind there. Uh, if you prefer to have more information or more details, you click on that. Um, you can assign uh, more information here. You can assign a, a screenshot if you want to. Uh, and you can put a due date on it so it'll show up on your calendar. Um, just thought I'd share that if you'd like to stay organized. Thanks.